Okay, so made a video on this Fluke Networks Pro 3000. And uh, I got a video up for a while and it, it's doing okay. It's got a few, it's got a, over a thousand views on it. But one of the persons commented that I didn't show something and I didn't understand what they was they wanted me to show them. So I decided to make this video. So this is a, a network tool which is made for communications, telephones, computers, uh, stuff like that. But it lends itself to automotive in the sense that you can trace wires and do different things. So what I did, I did a, I laid out a simulation of what we got here. So we got, as you can tell, we got wires all over the place, you know, simulating. And then in the run, I got a, a resistor box. Okay. And I got a, a light bulb resistance. Resistance can be anything from a weak connection to corrosion. You know what it's interference is what it is with the signal right so remember you're trying to find an open um, and also you can find out if it has a short we'll get into that here in a minute so anyway what i did i went ahead and uh at the end of the wire okay we put the one end of the meter at the start of the run we put a test lead right there and that and we're going to show the resistance here in just a minute so what we're doing is we're showing the resistance in the run of the wire, right? We're at the very end of the wire, which is right here. And this is where it's going to end. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at the, the value. There it is, 483 ohms. But if we go over here, we can manipulate it with this box, resistance box, which I like. If you don't have one, I recommend you get one. It's pretty neat. So we go back over here. And as you can tell, we're down to 51 ohms. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the most resistance we can, which is gonna be this way. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put 600. Okay, we went mega ohm. Uh, there it is. I guess we'll leave it right there, 483 ohms. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the, the meter so I can demonstrate how, the, how this works in automotive. You know what I mean? um so right here this is the way you would connect it oh there you go this is the way you would connect it like say this is the wire we're trying to investigate you can use this black one or you can put it to ground but what happens is if you do that if you do that you're going to have a signal going through both wires and i'll show you in a minute what happens when you do that okay so what we did <clears throat> over there at the wire we have the black and the red connected which is gonna be the black and the yellow. And what happens is you kind of cancel out the signal. You won't get you won't get no beeping sound. So I highly recommend that you only use the uh the uh the red only or make sure that there's no no uh short. Now watch this. If you release it, you know, we start transmitting, you know, starts transmitting the toner. So let's go ahead and let's do this run, right? So we're gonna start right here. You're gonna see right there. At this point, we're at about over eight feet, nine feet. Still got a signal. Still got a signal. Still got a signal. Right? Still got a signal. Now, here's the thing I like about it. Electricity is physics, it's not mechanical. So you need to remember that when you're fighting these problems. So what we're using this device for is to, to follow the wire to see where it goes or where it terminates. Now we're gonna go through a resistance box. In, out, and it's still transmitting. Look at that. And so we're gonna come over here we have the light bulb as a resistance, four point something, still transmitting, still transmitting. And then I've got this lead right here that you can see it's still going, right? So we'll go down here. And that's the beauty of the tool. Even with resistance in there, which I showed you 485 
thousand ohms it's still toning it's still telling us where the wire is going this demonstration i mean you can see it you know it's just going there <clears throat> so you have to learn how to use the tool it wasn't made for automotive use but i really like it it's come in real handy and it, it tends to be a very useful tool and it really speeds up the process also another thing is if you're working on a vehicle that you don't have a schematic to or you don't know where the wires are going because sometimes wiring goes to relays it goes to modules it goes to different components and you might not be aware of that so if you can trace it you'll see what's in the run you know what i mean if it's a cap controller a dash controller or if it's hard wired straight in with a fuse only you'll be able to know because you can you can go ahead and you can just follow it along um fluke networks probe and you have to kind of learn how to work with it and you have to be patient and it's like everything else when you get it you have to learn its strengths it's uh like right here you know like i showed you if you go ahead and if you you know short the signal out let's see if i can do this with one hand okay i think i got it you know if you, if you go ahead and you short down you get no tone if you go ahead and you release it you get the tone so you need to kind of know how to use that to your advantage so for example if you got the module and you put the wire on the red and you go straight to the frame ground and it cancels the signal that's going to indicate you got a short so then you go ahead and you eliminate the black off the ground and you only go with the red and then you follow it around to see where the wire is going um and follow the run so you can check it it's pretty good like especially in harnesses when you're going through a harness um, for an open circuit it's really useful because it'll tell you when it's not transmitting no more so you just saw the video where we went through the whole thing right so let's go ahead and let's do this let's go ahead and let's disconnect this oh, see if i can do it oh, it doesn't want to do it let me see i will do it over here we'll go ahead and we'll do it over here right we're going to create an open let's see if i can do it one-handed So we went ahead and we create an open. So this is a simulation. So you come around, you're following it, 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 and then all of a sudden, uh oh, oh, something happened right here. You know, and if you, and if you know where the wire terminates, you come over here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, here we go. So if you put the wire. you'll pick it up especially if you're following the wire you know this is an example i don't know how good of an example it is but i know someone commented that i didn't show how i fixed it electrical everyone's different every case is different you got so many variables um you know like i right hear i try to put some resist the resistance box i try to put a light bulb and you can tell it doesn't affect the tone because we're just trying to find the run of the wire. Now, know that the, the limitation and the purpose of the tool is to follow the run of the wire. Now, the ability for it to carry voltage, that's a whole different story. That's when you need your meter, you need your ohms. And I can tell you this right now. If I try to plug in that light bulb, this resistance box, it's not heavy duty, but it will start to smoke. Because it, it, it can't carry the voltage because it's the resistance. So anyway, getting off subject. Uh, hey, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. Once again, Fluke Networks Pro 3000 uh, for automotive use for tracing opens or just tracing wires to see where they go. Excellent tool. It wasn't really made for automotive use, but I, th I think it lends itself uh, quite well to automotive. And uh, thanks for watching.